hotel that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her and kill her. You have her open the door? I'm going to rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of the store when she lets me in. I, I want to rape her and kill her to have a knife and a gun. When I say I'm afraid of darkness, I don't mean this. I mean this. My buggy was born with human eyes. No matter where I go, he's always watching. He's always watching. The picture that I'm about to show you is supposed to reveal something that you're secretly afraid of. And we're going to test to see if it actually works. I want you to pay attention to the very first thing you see in this image. If the first thing you noticed was the knife, it said that your biggest fear is you or someone you love contracting a serious illness. If you notice the caterpillar first, it means that you have a fear in something supernatural, like ghosts or aliens. The butterfly means you're secretly afraid of rejection or betrayal. And if you saw the apple first, your biggest subconscious fear is death. I'm really curious, let me know in the comments if this worked for you. How come I've never heard anything about this? Animals in the aquarium might not all be real. And I'm sure this could also count for zoos. Now, I'm not saying every animal is fake, but I was at the aquarium the other day and there was this crab that was on a pole and it moved on a loop. And I sat there for a good while trying to figure out if I was going crazy or not. I took a video though, so check it out. Also, follow my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube for more content because it really helps me. It keeps doing like the same thing over and over and then stopping. I just want a video of the loop. We left it up the carpet in my fixer upper apartment and Should I go inside?
Yeah, you got it, the hammerhead worm or bipalium. I know they look creepy, and what I'm about to tell you is gonna make them 10 times worse. The hammerhead worm is invasive, toxic, sometimes cannibalistic, and essentially immortal. Let's just walk through each of those points. They're invasive, so they drastically change and potentially destroy ecosystems. And they have the power to eradicate earthworms, which is not good. We like earthworms. And they love eating them, essentially trapping them in this sticky slime, and then liquefying them, and sucking up the liquid. The hammerhead worm then stores the extra food inside its body, and if it needs to, will cannibalize its own tissues for food. Should you touch them? No. Should you kill them? I would. Should you eat them? No. No, they're toxic. And you can't just cut them in half because it'll regenerate itself. And it'll also clone itself, meaning it's technically immortal. The only way to truly kill them is to put them in salt or vinegar and then wait till they're completely dissolved. Usually I don't condone that, but they are invasive and they could do some serious damage. But be careful. Disturbing YouTube channels you should avoid, part two. Memory hole. This channel is a collection of old clips that had previously been submitted to an unnamed show whose premise was to collect home videos from America and air the funniest of them. Kraina Gersbau TV. The content in this channel is entirely in Polish, but going by the visuals and subtitles, Kraina Gersbau TV is literally run by the devil. Syriac. Syriac is the one you've most likely heard of at some point since its weird and unsettling animations have reached millions of views on YouTube. Just like I was saying in my previous video about desensitization in media. So if you've seen the new Disney film Luca, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So if you follow me, chances are that you're open to things that others might seem super crazy. But we know they're desensitizing us so that when these things actually do become apparent, we're not as scared because we're used to it because we've watched so many movies in relation to it, right? Please now feast your eyes on this. Here's a video I believe to be from Indonesia of a creature found in a river. Yeah, you just wait for it. Keep watching right here. Let me show you that again. I'm sorry. What? Okay, two things. First of all, the fuck are they? And what the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm not okay with this in the slightest. This little mini Cthulhu thing is watching the guy taking this video. In this movie, it's already a very well-known belief amongst the townspeople that these sea creatures exist. Like, we won't be shocked when they turn out to be real. <laughs> 